You might not think of pandas as productive. After all, it seems like they just putz around all day, eat a bunch of bamboo, and they aren't particularly energetic. But like most things in nature, there's a reason for the way that things are. With a diet that consists of almost 100% bamboo, it would be unwise for pandas to spend any extra energy on actions or movements that do not add value to their lives. If that isn't productive, I don't know what is. When I examined my life, I realized that there were so many actions that I was taking every single day that wasted energy without providing any value to my life or to the lives of others. That is the origin of the Productive Panda Vlog, a day in my life where I aim to be as effective and efficient as a panda. Hey there friends, I'm Matt, a joyful human who's working to live life on purpose. On this channel, we discuss how to live life more purposely, mindfully, and effectively. Today, let's see a life in my day as a productive panda. Before diving in, I want to acknowledge that this is not yet an everyday routine for me. It can be easy to compare our everyday to the special days of others, or to compare our play-by-play -play to the highlight reels that others put out to the world and not feel very good about ourselves. If you're not having as effective days as you want, don't despair. I believe that you can get there day by day. And if your days are more effective than the one that I'm about to have, please reach out. I'd love to be able to learn from you. Notice that I also said yet in the first statement. Days like these are where I'm aiming to go, so I'm getting there one day at a time. Okay, enough of the administrator stuff. Let's get to it. I started my day at 5.30 a.m. because there's a piece in the morning that is difficult to replicate later on in the day. I want to get to starting an hour earlier, but that is still a work in progress. After getting out of bed, I walk right to the bathroom where the gym clothes that I set out the night before are waiting for me. Truth be told, I usually sleep without a shirt on, but thought that would be too spicy, so enjoy the tank top with the face of the wise Mr. Feeney from Boy Meets World. After changing, I drink half of the water in the bottle that I prepared the night before. The bottle looks quite beat up because it has been through some adventures. One time, I even left it in a fridge in Hong Kong, and it still came back to me in the States. I usually weigh myself before drinking water, but forgot today, so the sequence is slightly out of order. Note that I don't really pay attention to the weight on a daily basis. I simply like to be able to see how that metric is trending over a longer period of time to spot bigger problems. Though dressed in my workout clothes, there are a few things that I want to get finished before I head out. The first is to sit down with my journal to spell out some of my morning thoughts. Since the beginning of 2016, I have journaled more days than I have not, and the practice has definitely been life-changing. Being able to get the thoughts out of my head and into the real world on paper has helped me to keep perspective and not get so stuck drowning in my own thoughts. Once that is finished, I sit down for a quick meditation session. Honestly, I used to think that the practice was kooky, but the way that it has helped my mind these last five or so years has made me a believer. The science is there to back it up as well. I personally use Headspace, but I'm sure that all the other apps are swell as well. The last thing to do before heading out the door is to do a brain dump in room research. Hand journaling is super helpful from the perspective of slowing down and getting present with my thoughts, but sometimes the process is quite slow, so there's much still left on my mind. To help with that, I supplement my written journaling with typed out notes, as I can get about 100 words per minute. I'm no Ali Abdal, but it's much faster than my handwriting. I type out whatever thoughts come to my mind as quickly as I can without really thinking and stop a few minutes later. No need to assess the notes at this point, the only purpose was to get them out of my head so that I have space for new thoughts. After saying hello to my family, I hop in my mom's car, since I don't have my own car after living in the city, so super thankful for her generosity there, and I drive to the gym. All the cars that we have had since I can remember have been manual, which I hated when I was learning to drive but absolutely love now. I get to the gym, which is a splendid local gym owned by the mom of one of my high school classmates, and I go to get a little stretch in before the workout. I am almost certainly not doing enough prepping my body for workouts, but that's a problem for another day. It is chest day, so I get into being a basic panda and do some dumbbell bench press. I'm showing you the heavy weight that I use because it's my vlog and I get to decide what makes the cut. I supplement that with some tricep work since they seem to go quite well together. If I'm being honest, I had to actually shoot this clip multiple times because I checked my form after the first couple and it was piss poor. Bad form for me usually means too high of weights, trying to feed the ego, so I lowered the weight that day and made other tweaks moving forward. I did more chest exercises before getting some foam rolling and stretching in to finish off the day. Okay, I'll be honest again, I haven't been foam rolling regularly lately, but a day where you know things are going to be recorded is a great motivation to enact the best habits. After driving back home, there's breakfast waiting for me on the table. The typical rice and eggs with whatever my dad decided to put in. I'm so incredibly blessed to be able to live at home at present and have these sorts of things done for me. Years ago, I would have thought it insane that I would want to move back home, and now it's one of my favorite things about my life. The finish of mealtime leads to shower time. It's a cold one since I've been taking a cold shower for over 2,000 days now. A video should be coming up for the reasons behind that soon. Once I finish my shower, I get prepped for my Tagalog lesson. Though both of my parents grew up in the Philippines and speak Tagalog to one another on a daily basis, I resisted learning growing up since I didn't want to be more different than the other kids. I'll have a video about my experience growing up as a Filipino kid in the US in the near future. That said, I started learning Tagalog in January of 2020 with my teacher, who I connected with on Aitaki, and it has opened my eyes so much to the culture of literally all my ancestors. The hour lesson flies by because you gain a real rapport talking to a person for an hour or two every week for a year and a half. Once the lesson finishes, I get to making my bed. The time that I make my bed can vary each day from the first thing rising to the last thing I do before getting back into bed to sleep, but I always make sure that it gets done. 
I was never forced to do it as a kid, but I now know getting into a made bed is so much better than one that is not made. It has been difficult making my bed since I've been home because my bed is against the wall, so feel free to give me any tips for how to do this better in the comments. Once my bed is made, I hop in the car again to go to a local coffee shop. Though I'm a recent coffee drinker, I have always preferred to work in coffee shops. There's a focus that I'm able to get working in public even though I spend little to no time actually talking to other humans. For the cost of a drink or two and possibly a pastry, I get hours of focus work. That is a worthwhile trade in my book. During these hours, I have a variety of items to be worked on. Scripting up my next video in Notion, doing some reading via the Kittle app, and organizing thoughts of my life in Rome research. I give a lot of smiles to the other people there, but the vast majority of the time is spent in silence. When I feel myself getting tired, I know that it's time for a change of scenery. Since I'm not yet in the right routine of getting up early and packing so much into a day, I decide to take a 15 minute nap. Per usual, that turned into a two and a half hour nap, but I suppose that's a sign that the rest was really needed. When the nap finishes, I hop on my iPad to jot down a few notes in Rome so that I can remember what I was thinking at that exact moment. Since I had not yet been with my family much that day, I decided that I wanted to work at the breakfast area table near all of them. They so generously got me some bubble tea, so I slurped that down while continuing to work on scripting. For some reason, I feel more focused, like a horse with blinders, when I have my hood up, so I'm not trying to look cool, I'm trying to just be more effective. Thinking that it may be nice to have some b-roll of me without the hoodie, I stage those shots and take those which is why there's a different look now. I do stop working for a while to enjoy dinner with my family because quality time with loved ones is something I aim to never waste or take for granted. My parents have always been so good at having a share meals together throughout my entire life. They prioritized a work life that gave them the ability to spend so much time with my sister and me. I appreciate that more the older that I get. After we clean up the food and wash the dishes, I go to my room to get a little more writing finished. Creation is harder than I ever anticipated before, so kudos to all of those out there who are creating in any capacity. I have so much respect for you. To get up early and be effective, I must go to bed early, so though I could have gotten more finished that evening, I decided that it would be short-sighted to do so and started my nightly routine. I start with flossing, which honestly is something that I do every single day. I made sure that my hygienist taught me the most effective way to floss because I know that this small act every single day can save me so much hassle in the long run. Using my Apple Watch, I brush for the entire two minutes to give my mouth that super clean feeling that is so splendid before bed. I end my day with another cold shower since I sweat a stupid amount and enjoy going to bed clean. That is one benefit that I particularly love about being a guy with short hair. Showering right before bed causes absolutely no problems. Blessings can be found in so many small moments. I end the day with a meditation to calm my mind so that I can have a peaceful, effective rest. Then it's lights out and off to dreamland. Thanks for joining on this Practical Panda vlog. If you saw something that you want to incorporate into your routine, or you have tips for something I can incorporate into mine, please don't hesitate to write those down in the comments. If this sort of content vibes with you, I'd encourage you to hit the subscribe button for more so that we can continue this journey together. Either way, I'm sending you so much love today, my friends. I hope that today you have the best day ever. Bye now. Gosh, this is so hot. This is utterly ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh.